we're from London Swing Cats. Now, a number of people who come to our classes, uh, when they start, have a little bit of difficulty just mastering the basic step. So, uh, as a bit of a, a tip sheet here for the people who are coming along or plan to come to our classes, what we're going to do, we're just going to put the basic footwork and the basic rhythm pattern for six count swing on the internet so that everyone can have a look at it and everyone can practice at home before they come to our classes. <laughs> right, the basic pattern we're going to be with is a six count pattern and it's one and two, three and four, five, six. One and two, three and four, five, six. And that's just going to repeat and repeat. So we're just going to turn our backs on you for a second so that then you can see. The guide step, we're going to start with the left foot. So we're going to go left, right, left. Right, left, right. And now we're going to do a push step on that five, six. We're going to put our, the ball of our foot on our, on our left foot behind and we just go push forward. So it's one and two, three and four, five, six. And for the girls, we're going to do the opposite. We're going to start with our right foot. So we're going to go right, left, right, then left, right, left. And then for the push step, we're going to go right, left, and away with the ball of the foot, push it back forward. Okay. Now when we do that together, if we count in five, six, seven, and one, and two, three, and four, push, step. One and two, three and four, push, step. One and two, three and four, push, step. Now one of the key things about this step, you'll notice that we're taking our steps into the floor. Our bodies aren't bouncing up and down when we're doing the step. And the other thing you should notice about this, we're doing the rhythm pattern here very straight. We're going one and two. But of course swing music has its own rhythm and it's got more of a syncopation to it. So we're going to do it again with a little bit of syncopation. This time it's going to be one at two, three at four, five, six. So we'll count in and we go five, six, seven, at one at two, three at four, push, set, one at two, three at four, push, set, one at two, three at four, push, set. Okay, hopefully you can all master that. But now what we're going to talk about is the posture. So very, very quickly, uh, the style that we do is based around an authentic uh, 1940s Lindy Hop style. And we don't dance it upright like this. It's got a pike and it's got a posture. So we're going to talk about that now for a second. If we're both facing each other, we'll do it this way around here so you get a better view. Okay. Now what I'm going to do, I'm going to have my right foot behind and I'm going to put my left foot forward and my weight's going to be on my right leg. For the girls, so you want to bend your knees, feet shoulder width apart and you're going to slide the right foot forward. So your weight for the girls is on your left foot Left leg is bent, right leg is straight. It's a little bit built like we're sat on the edge of the desk. Okay? And notice here we've got this pike in our body, our weight's forward, our body's a slightly bent. Now what we're going to do, we're going to take that rhythm pattern we've just done, but we're going to put it into this position. So what I'm going to do, or what we're both going to do, is step forward on that first beat. We're going to go one, and then we're going to push off the back foot, back onto the front foot, for our and two. For the hold that one and two, we want the weight stay then we're going to sit back, we're going to go four, three, three. <laughs> and then we, it helps if you can count, and then we're going to push up the front foot, and push four. back. So for the whole of three and four, your weight should stay over the back foot. Okay, now what we're going to do is our push step, and we keep our posture as we go push, back. So it looks like this, we go one and two, three and four, push, step, one and two, three and four, push, step, one and two, three and four, five, six. Okay, I hope you'll be able to practice at home, and the next time you come down to any of our classes, your basic is going to be fantastic. Thank you.